she, she's kind of trapped between two worlds, I, I think. Um, uh, she is someone that is, is independent, has left her own country and made a life in a new one, um, has sort of escaped a, a kind of smothering home life uh, back in the United States, uh, and has found a lot of freedom uh, in Europe. And, uh, but at the same time, she uh, is trapped by, by her memories. Even somebody as self-assured and smart and um, self-aware as her, uh, when faced with this sense of loss and really the unknown quality of it, um, how can you move on? The question becomes, how can you move on your, with your life when you really don't know what has become of an important part of your life? Um, and in some ways, you could, you could say that her, this kind of never-ending quest for her to find her missing husband has everything to do with her love for him and, and finding him. But in another way, you could say that it also has everything to do with trying just to com complete that part of the story for her own life, and that she's a, a victim to that as much as anything else. Oddly for him, he's found a home uh, in Verdun. He is an orphan. He lost his mother. Uh, he lost his father, who he, who he was, had been estranged from most of his life when he came to France. So um, what I thought would be interesting is to find a character who, at this critical stage in his uh, development as a person, you know, adolescence, finds himself in the middle of this kind of awful, horrifying, terrifying uh, situation. And yet, at the same time, among the priests there and the other orphans, it's kind of the first time that he, he kind of finds this new family and feels this real responsibility afterwards. To, um, to, be, to be part of kind of rectifying uh, in, a, in whatever tiny way he can. Even though Tom, there's a lot at stake for him, there are, are kind of long stretches where he becomes the narrator for other people's stories, right? Um, and those, of course, dovetail in a, hopefully all these ways with the things that he's feeling. Um, but he has the ability as a narrator to kind of step back from his own experiences and really try to inhabit others. Also, there is this a kind of tone of, not cynicism exactly, but maybe a kind of detachment um, that comes in part from his personality, but also in part from just the, the retrospect. You know, this is something that he's looking back on many years in the past. And even in doing that, of course, he's reconstructing it uh, to, to serve his own purposes in a way he probably doesn't, isn't aware of. But that's what we all do when we tell a story, right?